If you're up for a cycling challenge in Flagstaff, Arizona, Wapaki Road Bike Ride might be the ride for you. It's supposed to be a really tough ride and that's what we're gonna go find out this morning. It's a total of about 60 miles. It's 30 miles out, 30 miles back, but the challenging part of it is you descend for 30 miles, turn around and come back. So you're climbing uh, back up to Sunset Crater. Right now we're at the entrance of uh, Sunset Crater Volcano National Park, right at the entryway right here. So we're getting ready to do a 60 mile ride called Wapaki. We have de been descending now for a little over 19 miles from the entryway of Sunset Crater and from uh, the Sunset Crater National Park entryway. But from Sunset Crater, uh, it's 18 miles. We're going another 14 miles to 89 and then we're turning around. Again, we have been descending for the last almost 20 miles. And right here at this junction is uh, the Wapaki Visitor Center. So on the way back, we're probably gonna hit the Visitor Center. There's bathrooms and water there as well. Uh, but uh, it's gonna be a tough one because we've got 20 miles of climbing. I think we've already descended close to about 2,000 feet. We are now an hour and 45 minutes into the ride, 33 miles. We are at the turnaround and we've got uh, Humphreys Peak in the backdrop. And then if you keep going there, the turnaround is right here. That is 89, which heads towards uh, Page, uh, Lake Powell. You can go to the north rim of the Grand Canyon. Some cyclists will actually go up the highway uh, but you're dealing with high speed traffic. There is a big, big shoulder, so you could actually do a loop out of this ride. We're gonna do an out and back just cause it's safer. Uh, but right now we're, we are in Wapaki National Monument. And then eventually Wapaki National Monument turns to Sunset Crater and that's where we started. So again, out and back, <laughs> little, all we've been doing is descending for 33 miles. So we've got a tough one ahead of us. It took us an hour and 45 minutes. My guess, it might be double the time going back. So stay tuned, we'll see how long it takes us to get back. The beautiful thing about this ride is San Francisco peaks are right there the whole way. Pretty awesome. Wapaki Pueblo is the largest freestanding pueblo in northern Arizona. This 104 room pueblo is located directly behind the Wapaki Visitor Center. Although it is no longer physically occupied, Hopi believe the people who lived and died here remain as spiritual guardians. Stories of Wapaki are passed on among Hopi, Zuni, Navajo, and perhaps other tribes. People gathered here during the 1100s about 100 years after the eruption of the Sunset Crater Volcano. Citadel and Nalakiku Pueblos are 10 miles from the Wapaki Visitor Center. It offers an intimate experience with an ancestral site with expansive views of the surrounding San Francisco peaks and volcano fields. We are done, I'm looking at my Garmin and it was uh, definitely a tough ride. Total of 66 miles. We climbed a total of 4,065 feet. Ride time was a little over four hours. Uh, but a couple things to consider. If you're doing this June, July, August in the summer months, I would recommend definitely getting an early start. Uh, I looked at my Garmin, there's a temperature on here, I think it said 98 degrees around the visitor center. Uh, so it definitely warms up, but the challenge is in the morning when you start out, it's gonna be cool. So we had a layer on starting out, but uh, climbing, back up to Sunset Crater is definitely a climb, but a couple things to consider. Number one, make sure you have plenty of water, make sure you fuel up at the visitor center, and you can make this ride whatever you want it to be. It's an out and back. So we went all the way to the Highway 89. You could go to the visitor center and turn around. That's about 40 miles. So again, you can make this ride whatever you want it to be in terms of mileage. So depending on the mileage you want to do, just descend for however, however many miles you want, turn around and come back, and that's going to be your ride. But it's a definite must-do. 
Uh, it's one of those rides in Flagstaff that, that should be on your list of to-dos. So what we're going to do now is we're going to first get some nutrition, some calories, uh, take care of us in terms of some recovery. Then we're going to pack up and we're going to go up to the Lava Flow Trail and go check out Sunset Crater. So we're going to give you a little tour of that. So hang on on this video and join us as we go up to uh, Sunset Crater. As the bike ride wasn't enough, now we're going to take you on the Lava Flow Trail. It's just a little bit east of the campsite by maybe like a mile, mile and a half. But it takes you through Sunset Crater and basically the lava flow from the crater. Uh, it's 0.37 miles, so it's a little hike that's going to walk us through the lava field. So we're going to give you a little tour and wrap this video up. Sunset Crater Volcano is a cinder cone located in the northern part of Arizona within the Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument. It is a relatively young volcano having formed around 1085 AD. The cinder cone rises about 1000 feet above the surrounding landscape. The volcanic activity resulted in a landscape covered with lava flow, volcanic rock, and cinder fields. The crater is named Sunset because of the reddish yellowish hues on its summit, which resemble the colors of a sunset. Lava Flow Trail is one of the most popular trails within the Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument. The trail is relatively short, making it accessible for most visitors. There are signs along the trail which provide a unique opportunity to learn about the volcanic process and the types of lava formations. Sunset Crater Volcano and the Lava Flow Trail offer a unique glimpse into the volcanic history of Northern Arizona and provide a fascinating experience. Well, that's a wrap for our Wapaki road bike ride, our visit to Sunset Crater and uh, Wapaki National Park and uh, the little walk that we did through the Lava Flow Trail. It's definitely worth it. It's more of an educational little loop where there's a bunch of signs that are going to educate you on the history and just uh, everything about this volcano and the flow. Uh, it's pretty, pretty amazing. So if you're in the area, it's worth checking out. We're gonna link up right here where we stayed. We did a little review of the camping area, but at the end of the day, this is really worth the truck. And in the show notes, uh, we're also gonna link up more information about the ride that we did and uh, where we camp. So if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and comment below. If you found value out of this video, do us a huge favor. Give us an internet high five by liking it. And for more awesome outdoor, outdoor adventure videos, you can subscribe to the channel. If you hit that little bell button, you'll be notified each and every time that we do a video. Question is, what is your next adventure? We'd love to hear from you. Make it a great day.